Massive steady lava flows from a series of geological fissures forced the evacuation of the town of Grindavik and its famous Blue Lagoon Spa and the George Olar Renewable Methanol Plant, a CO2 utilization pilot plant run by Iceland-based chemical startup Carbon Recycling International. The eruption in Iceland was dormant at the time, although some roads into Grindavik were closed because sections had been swallowed by lava. More accessible during our 23-hour stopover was a much older volcanic formation, the Raufa Holschele Lava Tunnel, 31 miles east of the current fire. Iceland has many lava tunnels, and this one is a short drive from the country's capital. The tunnel was formed 5,600 years ago, according to carbon dating, when lava from a volcanic eruption returned underground and melted an underground passageway about 1,360 meters long before re-emerging as the land sloped toward the sea. The surrounding soil and rock provided insulation that kept the lava tunnel hotter than any path the lava might have taken on the surface. Basalt glass forms at the solid liquid interface, producing tunnel walls with fine horizontal grooves seen here in a layered structure. In other parts of the world, the local lava chemistry means it forms obsidian. Because of the tunnel's insulation and smooth interior surface, the lava drained out as the eruption subsided rather than solidifying inside. This process created a long cave 10 to 30 meters in diameter. As the lava passed through, it left behind a surface layer of flakes, smooth horizontally, streaked vertically, and shiny on a centimeter scale. Originally, the entire interior surface had a streaked, shiny appearance that is still visible in many parts. Over time, chunks of rock fell from the walls and ceilings, leaving gaps like this one about two meters wide, about the size of a deck chair. As molten rock rises from the high-pressure environment, of the Earth's mantle to the low-pressure zones of the crust and surface. Some components of the melt evaporate. The escaping gases leave holes in the solidified material, often near the top of cooling lava flows. In the open air, rapid cooling and ambient pressure produce a coarse, porous rock like pumice. In some parts of the lava tunnel, the intermediate pressure and cooling rate create a rock with a shiny surface, but with cavities thousands of centimeters wide. The collapse of parts of the tunnel has exposed the rock beneath the glass deposits, revealing a formation that is chemically different from volcanic basalt. The local rock is mostly made up of silicates, accumulations of iron, sulfur, and copper on the exposed surfaces create the pockets of red, orange, yellow, and blue colors seen here. Raufa Holschelia has several glass roofs whose collapses have opened holes in the roof of the tunnel, such as the two that let sunlight into this section. However, most of the tunnels are pitch black. Without light, the tunnels cannot support life. The tunnel owners and operators have installed lights for tours. As a result, 
Some areas that were barren for thousands of years are now covered in moss, green patches that benefit from a few hours of artificial light each day.